191,000 staff members have been appointed. The, although the actual number of uh, the counting officers, the three counting officers per voting station is just under uh, 69,000. As part of our final preparations, the Commission will launch the National Results Center on Wednesday, the 22nd of May. The National Results Center will be based at the Gallagher Convention Center in Midrand. It will house the Commission members as well as representatives of key service providers such as ESCOM, uh, Parliament, and as well as representatives of contesting as well as representatives of contestants running in the national sphere of this election. This will also be inclusive of domestic and international uh, observers as well as media houses. The Commission is further pleased to share that a record of 160 organically and from around the world will be observing uh, South Africa's 2024 national elections. About 15 of these observer organizations, democracy and, elect um, and electoral assistance, international idea. We opened applications for observer accreditation on the 22nd of August last year, and they closed on the 1st of May. Domestic observer groups were briefed by the Electoral Commission ahead of this election, which will also see the participation of independent candidates for the first time in national and provincial elections. International observers will be briefed on the 26th of May. We have also implemented measures to make the voting process more accessible to all South Africans, regardless of physical um, disabilities. Voting officials will assist voters who require assistance on voting day. Working with the South African National Council for the Blind, we have developed a voting aid which we call the Universal Ballot Template to increase chances of confidently and confidentially exercising the right to vote. The UBT, that is short for the Universal Ballot Template, can be used by blind and partially sighted persons, persons with low vision, persons with an unsteady hand, the elderly, and even people with low literacy levels. People with motor and nervous conditions which do not allow for a steady hand can benefit for, um, from the use of this universal ballot template. Now, in these elections, voters are to vote at the voting station where they are registered. It is therefore appropriate that ahead of the election we remind voters of the general rule in election. And that general rule is that a person votes at the station where they have been registered. The only exception to the general rule is that a voter may vote outside of their registered voting district only after notifying the chief electoral officer. Notifications in this regard will close on Friday, May 17. As of today, just under 200,000 notifications have been approved. So I think this is important because it may also uh, have implications for some of you who may be on duty on election day. So do make sure that if you have not applied for a special vote, you have an opportunity to vote wherever you may be working by ensuring that you notify us of your intention to vote elsewhere. So we call on registered voters to check their voting station ahead of election day. A number of channels are available to assist voters with checking their registration. 
you can check your registration details by SMSing your ID number to three to, to the number three two eight one zero using voting station finder application which is on our website or by phoning the our contact center on 0800 11 8000 or by using the IEC app which is downloadable on uh, App Store or um, the Google version. So it is quite important that voters know ahead of election day where they are registered because they may not vote anywhere else but at the voting station where they are registered. So it's important that these channels are used to ascertain the correctness of their stations. We call on all South Africans, both abroad and here at home, to come out in numbers and exercise their democratic right. We further continue our call to citizens, media members, political party leaders, to set a good example and foster an electoral environment based on trust, integrity, and respect for all. The Electoral Commission, for its part, commits to declaring an election outcome based on South Africa's voters' choices. We remind South Africans that voting, that counting of votes takes place at each station in the presence of political party agents and agents for independent candidates as well as observers. There will be a result slip at the conclusion of the count, which will be displayed at that station. All interested are allowed to capture a photo of that official result slip at that voting station using their own gadget. So in this election, there is no plan to transport uncounted ballots from the station to point B, where counting will happen. Both counting, both voting and counting will happen at the station. The used ballots will only be transported after a result slip has been concluded at that station. Party agents and agents of independent candidates can countersign the result slip to confirm the correctness of the count attributed uh, to their party. I wish to thank you for your audience.